Hi guys, Shane here. I hope you've all been keeping well. Um, so in today's video, what I aim to do is, is share with you the answer to two questions which uh, were put to me earlier this week. The first question was, what is the first thing that I teach a horse when it comes into training and why? And the second question is, if there was only one thing that I was going to teach a horse, what would that one thing be and why? So I'm going to explain to you what this exercise is. I'm going to share with you the reasons behind what I'm doing and what my goals are and what I'm trying to achieve. And more importantly, I think, explain to you why I think this is such an important exercise for every horse to understand and for every owner or trainer to have on their horses and how that will benefit you in your journey or time spent with your horses. So the first exercise I like to teach a horse when it comes into training is an exercise known as lateral flexion through use of the halter and lead rope. And what this basically means is it's my ability and the horse's understanding for him to flex his head and neck when I apply pressure to his face through the lead rope. In order for him to achieve this, he needs to take his nose and bend it to such a degree that he uses his nose to touch either his shoulder or his rib cage. And he needs to do this while standing still. So I'm going to demonstrate this a couple of times and tell you what it is that I'm looking for, what it is I'm feeling, and more importantly, explain to you the reasons and why I think it's so important. So in demonstrating this exercise, I'm just going to recap what it is exactly I'd like the horse to, to do and what my goals are going to be. He needs to remain standing still. He needs to take his head and neck and flex it to such a degree that he's touching his nose either on his shoulder or his rib cage. And the last thing is that the more he gets to understand this, I'd like to be able to do this and for him to achieve it with me adding or applying as little pressure as possible. So even possibly by just picking up the lead rope with my thumb and index finger. Um, so with that said, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate and see what we've got. So I'm going to slide my hand down the rope and apply some pressure to his face up towards his withers and just hold and wait for him to find the release. Here he's giving, but he's not giving enough for me to offer him the release. There he touched his ribcage and I release. So I'm going to slide my hand down the lead rope, pull up towards his wither and just hold and wait for him to give. The better he gets at this exercise, the quicker he will start searching for the release. There we go. Do it a couple more times, slide my hand down, pull up towards the weather. You can see now how quick he's getting at trying to find or search for that release from my pressure applied to his face through the lead rope. There. See if I can do this with less pressure. There we go. So that's a basic demonstration of this lateral flexion exercise. Um, you might be wondering why it is that I want the horse to touch his nose either on his shoulder or his ribcage. And the reason behind that is, is that if he's able to do that, he can't give me any more. When he's touching his nose on his ribcage, he's basically giving me maximum. He can't give me any more. So it's not that I'm going to be asking for the maximum effort for the rest of his life, but I certainly don't want him thinking he can give me any less. And therefore, it's really up to me about how much I want. And this is going to be a concept that I really want to instill in his mind now that's really going to hold me in good stead for other exercises I um, introduce to him in the future. So having just demonstrated um, this exercise on the left-hand side of the horse, I thought I'd just uh, remind you as well that it's important that whatever you do with the horse, that you do it both sides. You need to check it out on each side of your horse, the left side and the right side. So I'm just going to demonstrate the same exercise very quickly on the right-hand side and possibly at a different angle so you can get a really good idea of um, how it is he's responding. So same, same procedure. I'm going to slide my hand down the rope, out wide of him, up to his withers, and as soon as he takes that nose and touches some part of his body, I'm going to release. There we go. And he's really actually quite responsive and little, feels a little soft on this right-hand side. So that tells me that I might just have to work a little more on that left-hand side. Um, but the message I'm trying to send here is that whatever you do one side, make sure you do the other two. So having just demonstrated this simple lateral flexion exercise to you, I think it's really important that I explain uh, my reasons behind why I think it's such a great exercise to teach a horse. For me, there's three main areas or reasons why. The first one being safety, the second one being practical, and the third one has a lot to do with performance. So I'm just going to give you a few examples under each that hopefully you can relate to and understand. So with the idea or reason of safety in mind, I never get on or off of any horse without being able to bend their neck or 
at least be able to have some degree of bend. Because should they choose to move, at least I'm in control of where I'm going or I can make that desire to move a bit more difficult so they will choose not to. Secondly, if you ever find yourself aboard your horse and needing to get in control of a situation, if you're able to get your horse's head bent round, you've got to remember that they find it very difficult to run rear bolt or buck uh, with their heads bent round, um, all of which they can do quite successfully if their head and neck is straight. Another thing this does, it really prepares your horse to soften under pressure. So what I mean by that is, um, if you've heard of the term one rein stop, this is gonna be an exercise that really prepares your horse to be pulled around. It's no good trying to execute a one rein stop if your horse has never been pulled around or been pulled on in this manner before. Um, so this exercise really teaches your horse to get that head bent round at a moment's notice and for you to be able to get in control of a situation. So like I said, it really sets the foundation to that one rein stop concept. So the second reason is about being practical. I think this is a great exercise to introduce your horse to the basic concept of pressure and release, and that I do the pulling and that they should do the giving. I think it also helps them understand and respect halter pressure a great deal more. And you've got to remember that this halter and lead rope is probably the one piece of equipment that you're going to use a great deal more than any other piece of equipment in your tack room, and that they should really realize that it's nothing that they should lean or pull on. The next thing this is really going to help you introduce is the whole concept and idea behind being tied up. If they really understand that pressure and release concept, then you're going to find that introducing them to tying up is going to be made a whole lot easier. So the third and final reason why is related to performance. Firstly, I think it's a really good exercise to use as a warm-up exercise ahead of your training and work sessions, as these flexion exercises really stretch their muscles along their necks, up over their withers and along their backs. I also think that anything you introduce to your horse for the first time on the ground is only going to be much better understood and a whole less frustrating for that horse when you attempt it under saddle for the first time. I don't think horses um, can ever be too soft or too supple. I think this is exactly what we're all searching for. And an exercise like this really starts uh, you off into the journey of starting to obtain some of that softness and suppleness that we're all looking for. I also believe that horses don't have hard mouths. What they have is hard bodies. And in general, the, when you're feeling that your horse has got a hard mouth, what it's actually doing is using the neck against you. And it's this neck region that's getting hard. So again, through these exercises, you're gonna be able to soften that horse's neck. And more importantly, it's withers where the neck comes out of the shoulders to start getting that soft feel back in your horse's mouths. I also believe if vertical flexion is something that you're searching for, the key to good vertical flexion is having even better and greater lateral flexion. I think the softer your horse is left and right, and again, in turn, softening those withers is only going to help you get vertical flexion. The difference is when you obtain your vertical flexion, you're going to have a much softer neck set and neck carriage on your horse. So in conclusion to this video, guys, I really feel that this is something that anybody that's working with their horses right now, regardless of their horse's age or experience, this is a great exercise to go and test out, see what you got, assess what the type of feedback you're getting from your horses, and keep working on it until you feel you're getting them to a better place. The one thing I haven't done in this video is explained how I'd go about achieving this. Now, if this is something interesting to you or you think that you would like to know more about, then you know, leave us a, a comment or send me a message and probably that'll be a video for another time. Um, so until then, guys, I hope you found this helpful and useful. If you have done, please hit the like button, leave me a comment. I really appreciate your feedback. Uh, feel free to share the video if you want to. So until then, enjoy your horses, stay safe, stay in touch, and um, thanks for watching. Take care.